Anderson's got a population of about 10,000. It's a suburb of Reading that's sitting at about 90,000 people. It's a hardworking community uh, full of generous people. They've shown amazing support for us. Arrow just wants to play. He's eager to work, he's eager to play. Uh, work for him is play and uh, just is extremely driven. He's with me pretty much 24-7. Uh, when I go to work in the morning, he's standing there waiting at the garage door to hop in the car. In August 2015, Arrow started to show the symptoms of his sickness. Uh, we were at a training day and the muscles on his face became very rigid, very taut, and uh, we thought it was just overuse of uh, his facial muscles from doing bite scenarios throughout the day and thought it would surpass. Gave it about 24 hours and it didn't. It started getting worse. At that point, it was determined that uh, he wasn't fit for duty. I honestly didn't think he was coming back. Uh, I was making peace with the fact that I may lose my dog, may lose my partner. Was ready for that to happen. By some miracle and the DNA test and uh, treatment from all the vets that he got, uh, especially the ones at UC Davis, we uh, made a full recovery. He has some, a life-threatening infection, uh, a disease in which can have um, you know, a mortality rate up to 50% uh, if untreated. And even with treatment, we lose animals. He had a severe abdominal disease, but even worse, he had a complication where his muscles were affected. So he had very abnormal muscle function. We were just really hoping just to get him, keep him alive at that time. For me, it was like my kid getting sick. Um, he's with me every day. He's with uh, me more than my family at home. It was a huge sense of relief, having my best friend back in the car with me and being back on the street. It also gave us a huge opportunity to say thank you to the people that donated. I tried to emphasize that uh, he became the community's dog and the fact that they donated and gave so much that uh, we, we have much more to give back.